Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now, I know I haven't vlogged in a while, quite a long time actually, so I figured what better way to get back into the swing of things than to start off with my marathon day vlog. Uh, so yeah, today is Sunday the 28th of April 2019, which is indeed London Marathon Day. The time is, I have no idea, 8 a.m. on the dot. Um, how am I feeling? I'm gonna be honest, I'm not feeling good. Um, I felt awful all day yesterday. Um, I had diarrhea. Sorry if that's TMI, but hey, it's YouTube. We're all about the TMI here on YouTube. Um, and then last night, more diarrhea throughout the night, diarrhea and then sickness, which was disappointing because I had carb loaded to perfection yesterday. I ate like the perfect meals, pasta, pasta, pasta. Um, and then this morning I got up at about two minutes past six in the morning and I was sick a further two times and yet again more diarrhea. So it's not really ideal because as some of you will know when you're running especially long distances like 26.2 miles you need to keep in all the nutrients that you've been absorbing. So I have essentially lost all those so this morning I am on my LucasAid Sport trying to just get those nutrients back in my body and yeah you know it is what it is it can't be helped um i don't really know what's caused it i have a feeling it might be anxiety as i've really been careful as to what i've been eating so yes this is the reality folks this is the reality of running a marathon now i have all of my stuff down here laid out ready to go so I'll show you guys once I've got dressed what I'm actually wearing, but I've got a shorts, t-shirt, my bra, my dog's trust hat. So that's how you will have been able to have spotted me. Got my belt, my good luck necklace from the girls at Misoma, which has got a paw print on that side. And then luck on the other side. I'm really hoping that works today. Um, all my kit for listening to my music, my sunglasses, and of course, my number, which I'm gonna to have to pin onto my t-shirt once I'm ready. And then over here, for anyone that's curious as to how this works, you guys can actually track me. I say this now, when you guys are watching this, the marathon will be over. I may well still be running it, but who knows? Um, but this basically is the little tag. You attach it with these little things to your shoes. And then this basically goes over special lines or chips or something. And it essentially just calculates where you are. And as it says here, no tag, no time. So if you don't wear that, you can't be tracked and you won't get a finish time. <sighs> so yes, this is me. I'm sort of slightly ready. Um, I've just had a little shower and shaved just the bottom half of my legs. I feel like I should keep a little bit of fuzz on the top just for warmth, because it is um, a little bit chilly today, which actually is optimum running temperatures. So I believe it's about 12, 13 degrees today. I think the highest it's gonna reach is 14 degrees, which I am more than happy with. And it's overcast slash cloudy. So yes, I'm very, very happy about that. Now I am gonna get myself changed. That's the next step. I'm doing this like in baby steps. You know, like how in that episode of Friends where Monica and Chandler are getting dressed and he starts to get cold feet. <laughs> I'm Chandler right now. So I'm just doing things in little steps. The next step for me is to get dressed. And I am ready. I'm just gonna keep my hat off for now until I actually get there, but got my gear on, Simon's gonna take me to the train station and then walk me up to the actual start area and then he'll probably take my hoodie. So I've just got t-shirt and running shorts on underneath, taped my leg, I've got my little tag on my shoe and I've got my running shoes and of course, I've got my little good luck charm on as well. Got my earphones in, sunglasses on, ready to rock and roll. The sun has actually just come out, which is why I am shaking, because I just don't deal well in heat. 
so I'm hoping that that goes away ASAP but I have just gone and whacked on some factor 50 just to be safe so I think it's coming to that time where I need to leave the house <laughs> I've just been on the toilet for about half an hour which is lovely um, and yeah don't think I can delay this any longer <laughs> I'm in the little section, my group is zone 6, we've just been called to go to the stairwell. There's no turning back now. Right, back home. Just dropped Emma up at Greenwich Park. We got a train there, obviously loads of the roads are closed so we couldn't drive. But we literally could not have left it any later. She got there with probably about 20 minutes to spare. I kind of think that was her plan because as you would have seen she was really nervous, very anxious. It's a long way to run, don't think I could do it. And uh, so she just wanted to mill around here, get all her stuff prepared, make sure she was ready. But anyway, got there. After, legged it back to the train, jumped on the train, straight back home, legged it home. We've got two or three minutes before it starts, or before her, before her section starts, which was 10.50. Um, and I wanted to try and catch her on TV and see if we can find her. She's obviously wearing a dog's truss hat, so hopefully I'll be able to spot her in the crowd. Don't really know how this video is going to go. I've obviously got her uh, details on my app on the phone so we can track her but basically it's just going to be a real life where's Wally? Where's Waldo? I've got to try and find my wife in a crowd of what 40,000 other people so hopefully she'll still have the hat and we'll be able to find her. We'll see how it goes. Keep an eye out for mummy aren't we? Huh? Huh? You proud? Yeah? Yeah. Good girl. Who else wants to give mummy a message? Can there be? Oh, it's nice kisses. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I'll keep you posted. Hey, hey. Oh, baby, baby. Don't bring me down a breast for pretty baby. Made it into London. I was meant to go to Greenwich first to try and find her, but she's storming through. So I've had to go up to Deptford. I thought she was going to be the only one running. Signed up to this, thinking it'd be a nice, easy stroll, have a few beers, get some lunch. She's already halfway around. Just check the app. She literally should be coming up here anytime now. So we'll try and see if she's her mum and dad are around somewhere. The next change, just try and find them, try and find them. <laughs> Let's see if we spot Emma first. Right, just spotted her, gave her a kiss and a hug. Now trying to catch up with her, she's speeding away. She's literally, can you see her in there? With a dog hat on, black shorts, black t-shirt. I'll try and zoom this if I can. I'm literally just there. I'm out of breath and I'm not even running it. Which means Tower Bridge. I'm so happy. I honestly can't believe my legs have taken me this far, and the crowds here are absolutely amazing. It's literally like making me cry. Okay, made it into Canary Wharf. We came in on the opposite side, so we've come over this side, so we're going to catch Emma as she runs down this stretch. Down to the end, so mud shoot, back up into Canary Wharf. We're going to shoot over and catch the other side as well, so hopefully we'll catch her twice in the next... Well, I don't really know, because <laughs> I guess it depends how fast she's running. She's been speeding through, I think she's doing about five, six miles per hour at the minute. Which is crazy, considering she said she's going to be six or seven hours estimate. And I think at the minute she's on pace for five hours 15, five hours 20. So hopefully she's not put all her steam into the first half uh, and she'll carry on through. Obviously time doesn't matter, as long as she completes it, that's the main thing. You can see them all coming down here, like, I'm hoping when she's come around we'll be able to get a better shot than I did last time and be chasing after her down the street. Right, we know she's not far away. It's Jesus with the cross. It was just in front of her in Deptford. So, any minute now, she should pop up on this screen and we'll see what she looks like. Yeah, we're gonna go, Woo! Yeah, 
Oh, We're gonna put the other you come back up the other side there, so we're gonna meet you over there. I have another one in for you. Alright. Keep going, birds! Woo! There you go, I don't think it's looking too bad if you ask me. Nearly 25 kilometers. Not too bad, not too shabby at all. Although, <laughs> bit of uh, too much information there. Toilets are killing though. At least you all now know, eh? We're just going in there for a quick coffee. It's blooming freezing, although it's probably perfect conditions for running. Um, a little bit of drizzle in the air to cool people off. So yeah, probably perfect for them. For spectators, I am freezing. Anyway, she now goes right away down to Mud Chute, up around this corner. So in the next 15, 20 minutes maybe or so, she'll have her again coming around here. If I can spot her. I nearly left the last spot because the app said she had passed us. Obviously, I averaged her time and put her a little bit forward, further forward because uh, she had a toilet break. And I was literally that close to leaving that spot. And then Emma's mum shouted and said Emma's coming. So very, very lucky. She's doing very well. I'm very, very proud of her. I spy my little eye. Someone beginning with a, an E. <laughs> Almost forgot my wife's name starts with him. Woo! Go on, Em. One of these ones? Yeah, I'm on that. Yeah? Alright. We'll be on the other side near Embankment, so I'll have these for you if you want them. Okay. Alright, you're doing really well. You did so well. The final legs, she's on her way. So we just figured out she's gone past mile, mile marker 18. So seven, no, eight and a bit to go. She's having a little bit of a break. Don't blame her after running 18 miles. But she looked in good shape still. We're just going to head on to the DLR. And then towards embankment, so the next bit's a little bit around clearing walk and stuff. So I don't think we're going to catch up with her. But once we get into embankment, I'll pick you guys back up again. And we'll see if we cheer on her last little leg down to Wolf Buckingham Palace. And then she can tell you how she's feeling once she's gone over the finish line. We made our way round to the 23 mile marker. If you can see it behind me, just up there. Uh, around the Tower of London, Tower Bridge. We left Emma in Canary Wharf. She is now coming round towards Limehouse and Shadwell, so it shouldn't be too long. Plan is we're going to spot her here, jump on a uh, tube at Cannon Street, rush over to the finish line, and hopefully beat her there so we can see her at the finish line as well. But the atmosphere is absolutely electric. I mean, the people are still running, everyone's cheering. It's absolutely amazing. How these people do it, I've got no idea. Here she comes, look, down the middle. Still got a bit of a jog on her. Looking good still. Here she goes, look. Come on, hun. Look at her go. So, so proud. She's done a brilliant job today. Now I've got to race her to the finish line because she's going to get there before me by the looks of it. Just coming up to 600 metres to go. I have literally have no signal whatsoever on my phone, so I've got no idea where Emma is. But I don't think she could have overtaken us. I mean, she's running fast, but I don't know if she's running as fast as an underground train. So we're going to pop up around here. Keep an eye out for her and hopefully catch her just as she comes round to the finishing bend. I've just run the London Marathon. <laughs> very emotional end and I just want to say thank you so much so much to anyone that donated oh sorry I'm so sorry I'm going the wrong way I feel gutted I missed her at the finish line I don't know if you can spot a little hat just through there though she's done so so well 
say she didn't spot me. I'm waving my arm. She's looking around. There we go. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Unofficial time, six hours, ten minutes. So hopefully by the time this goes live, I'll have a, a proper update, like the proper time, and I'll pop it on there. But six hours, how amazing is that? So, so good. I'm home with my babies. I cried when I come in. There's been a lot of crying today, Bumble. You need to get off my legs. Bumble, Bumble. I actually cannot even believe it. Like, I'm not taking this off. This is staying on. I'm sleeping in this tonight. Sleeping in this. I ran a marathon. I ran a freaking marathon. 26.2 miles. I know the evidence is there. Yeah. You've seen it. And so what Although, was my... I reckon I've probably done more miles trying to chase this one around the course and find uh, where she is. Psh no, thank you. You guys have seen me. No, thank you. They saw me running down no, the Bedford High Street. Don't care. Don't care. Um, so what was my official finishing time? I think, I think I've got a blister. Don't even. I actually haven't got any blisters because I made an excellent shoe choice. I told them you're, it was 6.15. Oh, you told them. But that's unofficial until it's, it takes like a day or two to confirm. All right, time. but I would just like to add mile 14. I needed the toilet. This was one of many toilet breaks, but it was the worst toilet break. Caught, I queued. We've caught Poo Gate on, on the camera. Poo Gate? Yeah. Toilet Gate. Have you? Yeah. I was filming when you were telling us about oh, it. Oh, right, yeah. I needed the toilet so bad, and there was no other option. I was like, I need to go to these toilets, and obviously they're porta loos, but a few of them were. Um, had been closed off because they were in such a state and they're not nice in there guys I'm, I've never been to a festival but I'd imagine I could liken them to festival toilets like vomit poo wee anything you can imagine let's get back to more positive how, yeah how chuffed are you hey I used the toilets I'm actually really proud of myself for using such toilets um I'm very proud very proud done a very over, good job, didn't over you? the last two days I have to admit I got myself so worked up so nervous I did think you ain't gonna do this there's no way you're gonna do this and then when I set off this morning the crowds just make it they proper lift you and then when I saw these guys going across Tower Bridge was insane well i think i filmed a bit of that although i can't quite remember but i think i filmed tower bridge um and yeah it was just <sighs> debs was there she saw me give me a cuddle at mile what was it mile 24 five, yeah. mile 24 um oh, oh, oh. and yeah that gave me a big boost to finish and then i saw simon's sister her boyfriend and my mother-in-law in mile Mm, mile 26 600 meters to yeah the end. 600 meters to the end i ran a marathon emma hill kfc eater obviously <laughs> no not a chance hello everyone it is the day after the marathon monday it's quarter past six in the evening. I have had a rough day. <laughs> uh, I didn't get any sleep, like barely any sleep, which I was really surprised about because after running that far, but I think maybe all of the adrenaline was still kind of there and maybe all the sort of sugary drinks and things that I drank throughout the day in the little sachets maybe kept me awake I'm not sure and also the fact that I couldn't really move so I would be stuck in one position it would just be really uncomfortable so yeah I didn't get much sleep I had a little nap on the sofa my bumble's currently napping on my nap pillow I've started Riverdale on Netflix not impressed um, and yeah that's been my day so far I've just managed to have myself an Epsom salt bath which I did have an okay like effect on my muscles um 
I've sprained my ankle, so I've got one cankle and one normal ankle, and I'm pretty sure I've got shin splints. So yeah, it was all worth it though. So I cannot thank you enough for all the support, the messages, absolutely everything. It's just meant the world to me and I'm sure also the world to Dogs Trust. So thank you very much for watching this little marathon vlog and I will see you guys soon. Hey B.